learned about why multiplication works the way that it does, now we're ready to try out the algorithm. So today we're going to use columns as our paper, and we're going to multiply these numbers together. 49 times 72. I've written each individual number in its own column, and I'm going to cover up the seven so that I'm only working with one part right now. Let me draw my circle. And now we're ready to go. We're going to start off looking at two times nine. Everybody, what's two times nine? Eighteen. I'm going to take the eight and put it in this column, but I'm going to take that one and move it to the tens column since really it's ten. Now I'm going to do two times four. What's two times four, everybody? Eight. But I also have another set up here, so eight turns into nine. So 40 times 2 is, is 80, and then I'm going to add on that extra 10, turns it into 90. Here's my 9 to show it. All right, now it's time to work with the other side. But before I do, I have to remember that kid peeking out from behind the problem, reminding me to get rid of what I had carried so I don't get confused later. Now I'm going to get rid of my circle and move it over to the ones place. Because I've finished working with the ones place, now it's time to work with the tens place. Since I'm working with the tens place, the first thing that I want to do is I want to put in a zero for the ones place. Because when I do seven times nine, really I'm doing 70 times nine. And everybody, what would 70 times nine be? 630. But I'm not going to think of it like 630 right now. I'm going to think just of 7 times 9. Everybody, what is just 7 times 9? 63. 63. So I can put the 3 down here and the 6 up here. But we know in reality the answer is actually 630. So I need to make sure that this says 30 and it does. That's why we always put that 0 in at the beginning. <laughs> now I'm going to do 7 times 4 is... 28, 28 plus 6 is 34. So, it's time to add these up. 8 plus 0 is 8. 9 plus 3 is 12. 1 plus 4 is 5. And here's our 